them. That is really exciting. Well, the World Cup has ended for the U.S. soccer team. It was quite a ride in Brazil and here at home. 23 BC's Casey Kiernan met a man who founded Bakersfield's U.S. soccer fan team. And I love this story. We didn't really have one. No, we did not have these four years ago. I wasn't here, but I was kind of shocked to find out because you see those videos all around the country. Uh -huh. But oh, I, celebration? Yeah, yeah, but I met the guy who started it here in Bakersfield. His name is Isaac St. Lawrence. He's got a passion for U.S. soccer, sure, but we found out that his pioneering spirit helped that passion spread in Bakersfield. World Cup fever at watch parties in bars and parks around the country has become as much of a spectacle as the soccer itself. I believe! I believe. And that includes here in Bakersfield. I believe that we! Thanks to the American Outlaws. I believe in their founder, Isaac St. Lawrence. I believe that we will win! The passionate fan club founder by night is actually a pretty normal guy by day. Oh, sort of. Once you get into work, you're pretty focused on that. I'm working until uh, this time, and then I'll focus on the game. Isaac's law office downtown is full of photographs that show that soccer is a priority. My favorite club team, been watching them since I was a little kid. Went to uh, Germany in 2006 and South Africa in 2010. But Isaac's favorite photo is of the one thing that does take priority over soccer. And this is my wife, Crystal, and my daughter, Dempsey. And yes, she was named after Clint Dempsey. Clint Dempsey scoring! Little Dempsey's addition to the family meant Isaac wouldn't see Big Dempsey's goal in person at this World Cup. He would need a backup plan. You'll never completely copy the atmosphere in the stadium, but at least get a touch of that and bring a touch of that to Bakersfield and, you know, bring allow the community to kind of see what that's like. So the man with a pioneering spirit started an American Outlaws U.S. Soccer Supporters chapter in Bakersfield. And the crowd swelled with each game. But today's World Cup match between the United States and Belgium promised to be the biggest yet. I'm happy that this is his passion and he loves it, and obviously Bakersfield agrees with him. I'm so excited, I'm so pumped. I'm anxious. It's like being a five-year-old on Christmas Eve. The big game started and the U.S. put up a good fight. But found themselves down two goals in extra time. But the mood turned around when the U.S. scored a goal with minutes to play. Yeah! But in the end, it was too little Dempsey! and too late. That's how close the U.S. were! Another World Cup is in the books for Isaac. It just hurts right now. It just hurts. But the memories made with A.O. Baco and the Bakersfield soccer community will last a lifetime. This was incredible. Absolutely incredible. I am, I am proud of Bakersfield. I'm proud of A.O. Baco. It's a pain like this that makes the elation so much greater. And uh, we're not going away. Casey Kiernan, 23 ABC Sports. Dude, I love that story. You know what? I, was, I saw your pictures you were tweeting out every time yeah. you cover that. I'm like, how did they yeah. get this many people together? It's and awesome. if you if you want to be a part of it, email aobaco at hotmail.com. Good job.